as Justin Reynolds hits the hardwood, along with Andrew Darcel. You know, it's amazing how it's stayed at this level. Oh, it's about 19 about to 24 level. It's, just, it's been that way all the way through. I was just about to, to mention that, because really, the Aggies and the Islanders have been stalemated here in the second half. And the Aggies went to halftime with a 19 point lead, and it really hasn't varied in the second half at all. Absolutely. And, uh, that's a credit to the Islanders. I mean, uh, you know, there's Blakey down, down in the corner. So, you know, the second half has been even. Chris Pass was trying to get the steal. Foul called on the play. The foul is Derek Lewis. Lewis is second. Get a look at him, a 6'5 senior from Tulsa, Oklahoma. He's another good looking player. Well, he's a, a really nice three point shooter. A guy who battled an ankle injury last year, but hoping to be healthy and able to contribute to the Aggies this year. Well, I'm sure he will, and, you know, there's a lot of ways to contribute to a team, and it's not always during the game. You know, people, players, teams have to practice the fun. And some of these guys don't get to start and put their heart in the game and go out every day and work hard, and that's what the coach says means a lot to them. You got it. A couple of young guys in there, Javon Eccles, and also for the Yankees, Blake McDonald has checked into the game. He has the ball right now. And this is a freshman from Spring, Texas. We, we talk about polar opposites as he dishes the ball off. Good, good, and good. How do you do, Marshall Carroll? Yeah, McDonald made that play for him. Now he's happy about it. I mean, uh, the basket when you saw the, the raised fist, another young man that made the pass. So you talk about the polar opposites. McDonald is a freshman who looks like he should still be in high school. <laughs> while Courtney Robertson is a freshman who looks like he should be a junior. Yeah, that's right. There's a, there's a big difference. <laughs> Maybe start taking that first and take his <laughs> Under 10 seconds to play in the game, and it's a big win for the Aggies tonight as they will improve to 2 0. Andrew Darko will hold on to it, and time will run out as Terry Clark and Mark turns it to, to shake hands at the end of this one. Aggies win it, 86 to 65, improving the two and two or two and zero on the year. The Islanders now one and one on the season, and now get ready for a big game on the road at Oklahoma State. All the friends of day. Boy, Blake, he stands out like a sore thumb, did he? Blake stands out like a sore thumb. He's a bitch. They learn something from the game. Well done. It'll carry over the rest of the season. Nice sportsmanship as you see here at the end of shaking hands. And uh, there was no cheap shots of anything of that nature during the game. 86 to 65, our final score. We're back to wrap things up in a moment on the Toyota Zeppelin Conference Game of the Week.